Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightarama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about grid configurations in the Lightarama sequencer, which is the replacement for channel configurations from S4. Once you've created your preview, any sequence you create will start with the default grid titled Show All Items. You can arrange items in this grid configuration, but you cannot delete or hide props. If you plan to make a group out of all your props, like all of your bushes, mini trees, windows, etc., the first place you should do so is in your preview. A grid configuration is about cleaning up your view to help you stay organized when sequencing. To create a view, click on the icon next to show all items to access the grid configuration menu. Then choose Add New View. Name your grid, then click OK. This window will allow you to choose which props are in your view. Generally, you want to add your preview groups first, then fill in with any individual props that aren't assigned to a group. For example, since we're already adding the group named Bushes, we don't need to individually add each of the four bush props. If you need to search for a specific prop, use the Filter tool. Or do a more advanced search by clicking Select. You can drag your props to rearrange the order, which you can also do later in your view or choose from a preset to sort. Once you click OK, you'll see that your new grid view is much cleaner than show all items. Simply expand each group when you're ready to play sequencing effects, then close it when you're working on something else in your display. AC channel groups will expand to show you all of the member props. RGB groups will expand to show you motion effect rows, along with member props if applicable. If you need to add new groups or props in later years, or accidentally forgot something from the start, go back to the grid configuration menu and choose Append Items to View. This will take you back to the pop-out you originally saw when creating your view. If you add a prop or a group you didn't mean to, right-click and select Hide Item. This will not delete the prop from your layout. It's simply being removed from the current view. There might be times where you want to add a group within the grid configuration, but not in the preview itself. For example, these 16 bushes are split with eight each on the left and right side of a sidewalk in my layout. To create a grid view group, right click and select Convert to Grid View Group. I can put all of the left bushes into one group, then do the same for the right. You might also want to add a group to the view multiple times because you want the props within it to be in a different order. For example, if I add another copy of my four colored bushes, I can keep them sorted by bush number in one group and arrange them by color in the other. When a prop is in multiple groups, you only need to place effects on one of the rows. They'll automatically show up everywhere else the prop exists. Once you're happy with your grid configuration, return to the menu and select the bottom option to export. Likewise, when creating a new sequence, you can import a grid configuration from here. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a notification about new videos.